Alright, so I thought I'd give you a, a tour of the chicken coop. I have eight chickens. They're seven weeks old. Me and my dad built this. My boyfriend helped a couple times. And we got it put together. So, anyway, we've got... So we ran out of roof a little bit, but we just covered it in wire. But, I've got the hanging water and feeder for the chickens. And I have this big door for me to get into. And I just closed it with a carabiner. And then we have the ramp for the chickens to go up. And we're going to make a pulley system so I can stand out here and pull and raise the door. But my chickens have not figured out that they're supposed to sleep up there every night. They just do it some nights. Even though when I first put them out here, I left them in the coop part for a full week so they would know that this is home now. And anyway, I don't know. Sometimes they just sleep on the ground underneath down here in the under part. So this is, oops, put the worms up. Anyway. We built, we put two roosts in here for them, and they like those, and I've left the food and water in here to encourage them to come up at night, and I shouldn't, I, oh, here comes somebody, but uh, anyway, so, and I turn on this little light at night to encourage them to come up, well, anyway. And I've, we picked names for all eight of them, but I couldn't tell you what they all are. Only for a couple of them. And there's their nesting boxes, which I try to keep cleaned out so they don't think they should sleep in there. Because I don't want them pooping in there a whole lot. Um, anyway, if we can do this. Let me come over here. So, I have this set up to where I can... Hopefully, when they start laying eggs, I can just come in and lift up and get the eggs out, you know. Without having to go in and step in poop and everything. So, we covered, we completely covered this one side and this one back here. Which, I, I put all this junk on here to keep the dogs, the neighbor dogs from digging. Until so I get, get like a, some mulch or something more permanent or more rocks put on it. Um, I don't know what to do. Anyway, so we didn't have much of an overhang on the back from the roof. But I'm going to buy just like one chunk of gutter and put it right underneath here. And then have it come down. Well, probably at this end because it kind of runs downhill this way. Have it come down into a rain barrel so I can have water right here for the chickens so I don't have to drag water back and forth but I haven't done that yet but that's in the plans so and then I also put an extra I used this bigger wire I don't know if you can see the side well their little heads come out of it and then I was worried they were going to stick their heads out and the dog was going to bite it off so I put um, a two foot roll of hardware cloth and I just zip tied it I had all these zip ties so I just zip tied it onto the wire under the bottom so they can't poke their heads out and less critters can get in there but uh, anyway they seem pretty happy in there they dig it and they're kind of fun to watch and I really like having chickens so far so there's my little coop tour and all in all I probably spent about $350 on wood and supplies and all of that because I got some treated lumber which I still have to finish painting clearly but and all the hardware cloth is kind of expensive but anyway hopefully it'll protect my investment of chickens and um, that's it that's about how much I put into it anyway Oh, I could tell you dimensions. The little coop is four feet by six feet. And the whole thing is like six feet wide. And this is 12 feet all the way along here. So, and it's two feet off the ground right there. So, that's it. That's my chicken coop. Take care.